Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest video from Spidey Wing titled Woundwart is a New Support Evolution, which I'm certain is a reference to this color scheme, but also is basically true. Woundwort is a really, really good support at its cost, which I believe is 450 off the top of my head. And uh, yeah, has as many melee options as it does ranged, if not more, and it transforms, and it just does a whole bunch of uh, nifty things. And it has like tiny little fold-out skis to uh, fly or to walk around on land. I think when you uh, w uh, stop it in place you'll be able to see them fold down, but, uh, but yeah, it's a good suit. I like using it. I haven't gotten anything uh, good with it myself uh, lately, but uh, you know, I will get back to that in due time. Um, yeah, it has that heat blade, it has a punch, it has a claw that works more or less like a heat rod, I believe. Um, Spidey is with Drunk Zaku in the uh, Dwudge Custom, and me in the Desert Zaku with, you know, I know this will shock you, I am carrying the Gelgoog Beam Rifle. Um, so far we're doing really well, 1695 to 745. Good Vulcan kill there. You know, when, you're, uh, when you really need to get the damage in, the Vulcans are great for that. Just, I, I swear I end up using Vulcans more and more all the time, just because, yeah, sometimes there really are an ideal weapon uh, for a lot of situations in this, uh, especially against low health enemies, because you can't stun your allies with them, you can adjust the, uh, they have a, a certain amount of ASL, so they will, you know, they have some auto-aim they have uh, th they can be used while boosting so yeah there's just a lot of situations where they are the ideal weapon 2659 good shot and yeah just uh, I have a couple of uh, rounds I got today where the Vulcans were very useful I think one of them was uh, I did finally get an Anksha round uh, that I like it might be a little bit one-sided, but as much trouble as I've had getting something with that, I'm gonna go with it. And I, uh, you know, I really, do, I really do like the Anksha, I'm just not doing a good job of getting around with it. After that, I got overconfident and tried another round with the DJ Traversia, that did not work. But that's okay. I will, I will get there eventually, just, yeah, you know, like I, like I said before, I will give it a try again sometime when, uh, you know, when the round starts to go south, I don't feel myself starting to lose the will to live any. That's just, you know, just... You play enough rounds where you start to, you know, you start to attack and your whole team vanishes and everybody focuses you to death and you just... Ah, you just, yeah, just kind of don't want to anymore. So, yeah, I, I, I had to give up on that. Because, um, for one thing, I was not really doing uh, anybody else on my team any good so that was not where you know I was not getting what I needed I was not giving anybody else the help they needed I was just getting myself you know destroyed and regardless of whose fault that felt like at the time it meant I was not doing anything useful so had to uh, you know had to uh, just stop you know, and that is that is something I feel like is important. Is that sometimes, ah, sometimes you do have to acknowledge to yourself that what it feels like when you're, you know, in the middle of something is not what is actually happening. But good downswing by Zaku. That uh, that dull mill is almost dead, I believe. And yep, good shot in the uh, in the foot. Good punch. And now time to uh, deal with something else. Uh, let's see, I am over there by a bunch of enemies out way too far again, and more good Vulcan work there, um, which, you know, is why I'm now dead. You know, I'm not saying that that was what was happening with me in the Traversia. Good punch! Um, I am not saying that's not what happened uh, with me in the Traversia. But yeah, just sometime, I just have this knack, it feels like, for getting out front and look, thinking that my team is going with me and looking around going, where is everybody? Which, you know, just, that's, that's a me thing. That's, that's a me problem. Um, let's see. 
11,000 to 5,200, definitely, uh, uh, definitely in our favor. We are doing fair, no, we're doing more than fairly well. We're doing really well at the moment. And yeah, um, for some reason I thought the uh, Woundwort had both a charging and a burst fire version of the Mega Beam Launcher, but I think the burst fire version is the uh, mobile armor mo uh, mode uh, version of it. Yep, yep, that makes sense. Good drive by there, and uh, yeah, like I said, Woundwort really good. It's a uh, it's a good support, especially if you uh, you know if you are good at running not just supports but you know generals and melee centric things too, because it is all of those things. And I I love that its uh, down swing on its unarmed melee is just a kick with its little uh, foot stalks. That's pretty great. And yep, everybody just kind of rushed in to get that last person, and yeah, what. Well, uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes there's just nothing uh, you can do about that. Just everybody is there. Like I said, that's one thing that Vulcans are good for. Um, uncharged Gilgug beam rifle shots also good for that because you can uh, generally land those in between allies without uh, without interrupting what they're doing. Which, yeah, again, just makes it a really good uh, a really good tool in you know tight situations especially compared to stunning weapons. And yeah, that uh, that uh, heat blade on the wound wart and some of the other suits that have it just has ridiculous um, range, especially when with the side swings. It just it just goes forever. And uh, that, you know, when you're surrounded by al allies, that can be a thing, but when since there was only one enemy between all of them, that's, you know, that doesn't matter too much. Let's see, they did manage to blow up our base, which brought the score, uh, their score up a decent amount, but not enough to even, you know, worry too much about being overtaken, because they have to, uh, they would have to wipe the whole team at least twice in 45 seconds to, uh, uh, stand a chance of winning, and just call it a hunch, I don't think it's gonna happen. But that is a good shot. Yeah, um... Let's see. If they fell just a little bit too far for Spidey to shoot over the box. I've been there. But uh, 20 some seconds left. Good shot there. And yeah, I'm, I'm pulling back because, well, for one, I don't want to get uh, stunned. For another, yep, just wanted to not, uh, not get in anybody else's way here. But that Dolmel is down. Spidey got the kill shot, and uh, yeah, we have uh, we have run away with this one a little bit, but that's fine. Um, let's see. Yeah, gonna have some uh, uh, good numbers, I think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Spidey got a really good score out of all this. So let us take a look. Um, let's see, 121,000 damage out of the pixie. That's kind of amazing. Uh, 41k damage, but seven kills and one death. Very nice. Uh, yeah, definitely, you know, planning the shots where they needed to be when they needed to be there. So that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Man, I am going to be busy tonight. Tonight being Wednesday night, but I'm recording this like Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Because I'm going to have Radio Free Cybertron as usual. And then after that, I guess I'm going to be doing the weekly update both for PSN and for Steam if I can manage it, so not holding out a lot of hope to roll the Freedom Gundam since I think I will have like six tokens by then, but stranger things have happened. I have to at least give it a shot.